I mean, it's, you know, we guys play hard. You know, we, we uh, in a game like this, going into it, you know, um, you know, two different styles. And, um, you know, they're, they're going to use the clock and limit possessions. Um, and then we, had, we, we needed to be efficient with uh, no huddle. And, and, you know, actually we had more plays than they did. Um, but, you know, because they limit your possessions, um, <coughs> when you turn the ball over a couple times, that's really like a, a, a possession and a half. So, you know, we needed to be more efficient than we were. We just weren't, we weren't, we weren't uh, efficient enough in our, our drives. I mean, we, we ran it pretty good. We threw it reasonably well, but, um, you know, we, we got to get off the field on, on defense on third down. Well, it, we, obviously, it was a big difference today. It was, what was he, 30, 43? Yeah. Three touchdowns and, and no sacks and no turnovers. So that's a veteran quarterback and, and a guy who's been in a lot of different games and been in a lot of different situations. Um, you know, and, and, and he, he showed it today. He, you know, he was, he was probably the best player on the field today. Well, we went in the game, but they knew that. So the third series, uh, Grant was going to go in. And uh, obviously, he, he operated pretty well. And we want to get him in. And, and, and uh, as I said two weeks ago, um, he's not red shirt and he needs to play. And he needs to learn from some experiences like he had today, not in mop up time or not in anything else. Because, you know, um, and I think he showed that he's, he's capable of, of like he has. You know, he's, he's won games, he's played at, at different stages. And, uh, you know, we want to make sure that uh, his growth continues. Well, that was just, we already talked about that pregame. I think he understood, Khalil understood in the first half what was going. Um, he came in, moved the team, um, and then, you know, Khalil responded and, and, you know, ran and took off and did some things. So I think, you know, as long as there, there's communication in that, that deal, they understand it. And I, I thought the first half and even, you know, midway through the third quarter, when we, until we got behind two scores, Right, it's it's hard to put a freshman back in there at that point, but I thought that um, you know they understood what the what the plan was, and I thought you know they they both gave us a chance in the first half, um, you know, to, to be successful. And you never it's football, right? You never know. And I think to your point, right? Um, there's you got a quarterback that's an experienced quarterback um, that has been in big games. Um, you know, we, we, we know what what uh, um, what Scarlett can do, right? And so, you know, he, he got 106, but it, it was, you know, it was a real 106 when he had 19 carries. And um, so, um, you know, the, 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 the other piece was Costello was just, was, as I said, today. I mean, he that's why he is what he was before preseason. He's an experienced guy that, that has been in a lot of football games, and, and uh, that showed today. Yeah, and we talked about that at the press conference. You know, we've got competitions going everywhere. And, uh, you know, what, the, the, what we do in practice and, and everything like that, you know, we chart everything, do some things. I, I think he was, you know, reasonably effective today, right? What, what he, uh, four, punted four times, he averaged 46. That's substantially better than we've been all year. And so, um, you know, it's a different style that, that he has. It's not pretty a lot, but uh, it's effective. And, and uh, so, you know, he, he was uh, – that was an improvement in, in, in today for us. No, no, it doesn't – no, no. I mean, he made – it was a really good play on the, on the last play of the game for us offensively. It was a stutter, a double move play, and he recovered. You know, he's beat. And, Maybe the ball was underthrown a little bit, but that's still a heck of a play by him. And, and so, you know, um, guys like that, you know, double moves, or, or, you know, they're aggressive, and that's what we tried to do. He recovered and, and made a play. Um, well, I, you know, consistency for us offensively. I mean, when you got almost 500 yards, right, uh, and 31 points, um, you know, you, we, needed, we needed 48 points. So, you know, that's, that's – uh, you know, we, we had a couple negative yardage plays that hurt us. And, and what I would say is, as I said earlier, um, in a game like this, when you know the possessions you have are going to be not going to be as many, you have to be efficient and you can't turn the ball over. And we did that. We, we, we made yards, we scored points, 
But if you turn it over, because of the style of play of the other team, um, you know, you're, you're losing possessions and, 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 and point probabilities, right? So, you know, like you said, we had, we had 77 plays. They had 74. So it's two different styles. We needed to get more snaps. We did that. But the efficiency, we, you know, again, we were 5 of 13 on third down. So, um, you know, we've been one of the top teams in the league in, in third down percentage. Um, you know, I think we were uh, something crazy at halftime, one of, one of five, and we had, you know, 24 points. So, you know, we were efficient, but not efficient enough. But, yeah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't – performance it was those guys are you know he and Jace have been playing their tails off and um, you know so you know they're they're like everybody else everybody's beat up this time of year um, and getting some other guys in, in there to play uh, to give those guys a break you know but um, yeah I mean uh, it's just it, it, we, it wasn't a performance-based situation it was it was because of where we are at this point in the season and getting some other guys in there to, to give them some rest. Okay. Well, you know, it's hard right now because that locker room, is, it's tough in there, right? So, um, you know, the message is we got to stay together and we got to keep fighting, right? You only got the two choices. You either fight or you run, and, and um, we're not running. So, um, you know, for us as a coaching staff and for us as a team, uh, we got another challenge this week. And, you know, I talk about want to know all the time whether you win or lose, right? We, we got to examine and look at who we are, what we're doing great, um, which is a couple things that we've changed and try to stay ahead of the curve there. The things that we're doing poorly, we got to fix. And that takes everybody. That's not just uh, that's coaches, players, everybody. And so uh, that's where we are. Uh, we got plenty of season to go. And, um, you know, our, our guys are, you know, one thing I can say about them is they're not quitting. They're playing hard, and you know we got to give them chances as coaches, and we got to cut down the, the turnovers. We've cut down penalties, um, you know. Uh, but uh, you know you, you just got to press forward, and um, that's my job. That's our coach's job. That's our leadership uh, internally on our team's job because uh, we got another game next week, and we can't let this affect what's going to go on this next week, except for what we can do to fix some of the things that we didn't do very well today.